One of the benefits of owning this product is being able to cook your fruits or vegetables without water. I'm just going to do a real quick demonstration for you here to show you what cooking with water does to your fruits or vegetables. I've got some grated carrots here and I'm just going to put them in this glass and we're going to pretend to cook the carrots in the glass. Now, normally if you're cooking your carrots on top of the stove, you'd add a little bit of water. So what we're going to do is put some water with the carrots. Then we would turn the stove on to high, bring the water to a boil, and then you turn the heat down. Now after a while you lift the lid and you give the carrots a poke with a fork and you can tell they're done when they don't have enough life to hang on to the fork. Now Dr. Charles Mayo, founder of the Mayo Cancer Clinic, he says that when the color's gone, that's when the vitamins are gone. When the flavor's gone, that's when the natural minerals and sugars are gone out of your food. All I'm going to do now is drain this excess water down the sink and what you can see is that the color is left in the water. Now a lot of people will say, well, I don't steam my, or I don't boil my vegetables, I steam them. Well actually, if you've ever steamed spinach, what color is the water that comes out of the spinach? It's actually green. So where is the nutrition going? It's ending up in the water or it's going up in the steam that you're losing while you're cooking. Good rule of thumb, if you can smell your vegetables cooking, that's the goodness leaving. Using this product, we keep all the nutrition locked in the food. Therefore, your food's much healthier when you're eating. We're just going to show you the construction of the cookware quickly. Uh, first of all, we use solid surgical steel across the bottom and up the sides. What we mean by surgical steel, this is the same kind of steel that's used in surgery. If you were to break your leg and they put a pin in your leg, uh, this is the kind of metal that they use. And the reason why they use it is because it's virtually non-porous and it's hospital clean. On the base, the base is encapsulated. There's a combination of light alloys inside and then it's encapsulated with surgical steel. The base is designed to do three things. The first thing it does is it spreads the heat evenly across the bottom. The second thing it does, it acts as a buffer zone between the hot element and the food to help prevent scorching or burning. And the third thing it does, it retains heat. So you can start your stove on medium and then turn your cookware down to low and it cooks very efficiently. One of the things that we're going to do right now to show you how efficiently the heat gets spread in the cookware is what's called the ice test. I'm going to take a piece of ice and I'm going to set it on this cutting block here. You'll see it basically sits there. It's not going to melt very quickly. I'm going to take another piece of ice and put it right in the skillet. And what you'll see is that almost instantly the ice in the skillet will start to melt. What that's telling us is that the cold energy from the ice cube is being pulled into the base of the cookware and it will spread that cold energy across the bottom. Of course, when you're cooking on top of the stove, the same thing happens, but it happens with heat. Once again, the ice cube on the cutting block is basically sitting there and you'll see how quickly the ice cube in the skillet is beginning to melt. I'm going to do one more demonstration for you here just to show you the different kinds of cookware that are on the market today and show you some of the benefits of cooking with surgical grade stainless steel, the kind that we use with Nutristall. We have a, a cast iron skillet over here. We have an aluminum saucepan. Uh, we have a, um, a aluminum so uh, fry pan that's actually coated with a non-stick coating. And of course we have the surgical steel with Nutristall. I'm going to pour a glass of water in each one of these units and it's just some regular clean water and we're going to give each pan a scrub using this copper wool here. So we're going to give each one about 20 scrubs or so just to see what actually comes off of each pan. Of course that's the surgical steel and we're going to give the non-stick coating a scrub. Now normally you wouldn't scrub a non-stick coating pan, but you do agree that they wear off with time or they wear out uh, over time. Now what we're going to do here is just show you what actually comes off of the skillet over time. You go in there with a fork or something like that. When you heat up and cool down these pans, eventually they wear out. The manufacturer tells you that if you get a scratch, 
in a non-stick coating pan that you're supposed to throw it away. Normally, we don't do that though. We throw away the skillet after the coating's actually worn right off. Now we have an aluminum saucepan. Aluminum is a very, very soft metal. And your food reacts with aluminum in different ways, especially if you're cooking something acidic like tomato sauce or rhubarb. People always wonder why after they cook tomatoes in an aluminum pan, why the pan's sparkling clean because the, that comes from the acidic reaction that happens with tomatoes and aluminum. So there's the aluminum one and of course we're going to give the cast iron pan a little scrub. Now cast iron when you buy it, it's not black in color, it's actually a silver gray color. And then once you cook in it, season it, it starts to get black over time and it's very tough to clean it. The only way you can clean a cast iron skillet is if you actually throw it in a fire and burn all of the food residues out that get locked in there because it's such a porous metal. So we're just going to set this off on the side. Now, if you were very thirsty and you went over to a water fountain and the water that came out of the fountain looked like this, most people wouldn't drink it. Believe it or not, this is actually a very clean cast iron fry pan. So if we go over to the aluminum fountain and look at the color of the water that comes out of there, you can see it's got that silver tone. It's the same color as the aluminum pan. Now the Teflon one, or non-stick coating, should be somewhat of an improvement, but if you look very close, you see all those little flakes that are floating around in there. That's that Teflon coating that's coming off and ending up in your food. And then lastly, let's go over to the dripless pouring edge with the Nutristall pan. And of course the water is crystal clear. One more interesting note to make, take a piece of clean paper towel and we're just going to wipe the floor here real quick. Now the floor here is very clean. You can see that there's really nothing that you can see on the paper towel. But knowing that I just wiped the floor with that, most people would rather choose a clean paper towel to wipe their mouth with. Taking this clean paper towel, I'm just going to wipe the inside of this cast iron skillet. Now have a look at that. By looking at the cast iron skillet, looks like it's actually cleaner to eat off of the floor than it does out of that skillet. Let's have a look at the aluminum. Aluminum, once again, very soft metal. If you ever worked with aluminum before, your hands get silver from it. That's the aluminum just coming off. It keeps going into your food. So you can see the aluminum color. And we'll give the non-stick pan a white. You can actually see some of the coating coming off. And very last, we're going to cook, we're going to give a wipe with the Nutristall skillet and you can see of course that it's clean. So cooking the Nutristall way is the cleanest way. There is a reason why they don't use cast iron in surgery, they don't use aluminum in surgery or non-stick coatings. They don't use any of that. It's not deemed to be clean. This is the metal that they use in surgery because it's clean. It's non-reactive. It's safe to go in your body. That's the same reason why, you, why we use it in our cookware. It's safe to put your food in. The food is not going to react with your cookware.